And I like, when I look at the way you portray yourself online, I think of a few words, like a few words come to mind. One word that I have, I've got three written down here, but you mentioned one which I definitely should add, which is mastery. Right. Okay. You mentioned that earlier. There's three, three here, which I think about your work. I think about everything that you, you do. So one is passionate. You mentioned passion a few minutes ago. Yeah. The other is kind of impeccable or immaculate. Yeah. Those two words, whenever I see <laughs> stuff you do, it's like yeah, that. And then the other is student. Yeah. Like you're, yeah. and I suppose that sits I with the mastery good, thing. That, mate. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'd agree with him. Like obviously, in a, in, a, in a modest way, because we spoke about this before. With impeccable mastery, and impeccable is the same thing to me. Yeah, it's giving something externally the respect it deserves and the attention it deserves, and having that curiosity, but not doing it in a in a, in a ridiculous, stupid manner. Man, like try and be refined from the start and learn slow which then translates to impeccable because you're doing it carefully but properly as well you know like if anything's going to be of worth to me i feel like you have to do it to the best way or at least have the, the, the equipment the tools and the the area environment set as if that you were already made in it or you already made it or already top level and it gives you that for me it gives me a better sense of the craft better sense of the hobby better sense of the the environment um to then reach towards and fulfill so uh, you know presentation for me is massive um and that's probably why you, you think that mastery is something that i feel like you have to do it has to become religious to, to go through the agony of painting and the agony of learning and you know i say it with haircutting or painting i use a haircutting example i always say to people your haircut's done mate when i'm done with it it could have been done 10 minutes ago but i have to be okay with it <laughs> Because I have this obsession with rendering something to its complete um, maximal state, whether it be worse or better. You know, sometimes I ruin things, but in that, you become better. And you, 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 every single opportunity, you're exploring the crevices yeah. of that scenario. And that's what you can build off. How can you be a master if you never take risks yeah. or push it to that limit? You know, you know, it seems not stupid, but in hair, you're not taking risks particular painting nothing's gonna go wrong but i'm really i'm stretching the perimeters of that that practice and you'll see it in things that i do like motorbike and i have to look like a motor gp rider if i'm going on a sunday to the cafe because for me it's like honoring motor motorbiking and it's culture um i've always been like that mate it's a fascination with order um and doing stuff yeah to that refined measure and passion's intertwined in between that because you wouldn't do it i wouldn't do it if i wasn't passionate about it 